Kevin McAllister um, did not practice. Um, most likely will have will have surgery on his hip at some point this week or next week. He'll be out for the season. Michael Morgan was limited, and uh, Simi did not practice again, and Xavier Grimble was limited. Was this a factor in why you decided to take the red shirt off of uh, Demetrius Wright this last weekend? No, no. He, he had already uh, played, so we knew that we had to anyway. Um, I think it was a Hawaii game. He was on special teams, if I recall right. So um, he, he was already active. So does he, you sort of take a look at him to jump in that mix now that he's... Sure, he's our four safety, so um, he's going to need to play. Um, we're going to play him in this, gar in this game regardless of the score. I'm going to give him some experience on defense. Patrick Hall is back out here today? Yeah, Patrick is back with us. Um, you know, did everything we asked for three weeks. Uh, really seems to have changed his attitude um, from downstairs in academics to upstairs with us. And so um, it's good to see him change, and so it's good to have him back. Looks like Colorado is going to join the conference in 2011. What what do you think of that uh, with the, uh, both those teams now coming in next season? Well, I think that, that was the plan all along. So I was, you know, uh, under the impression that was going to happen. Um, so that's great. Um, you know, I would assume that adds a championship game and, and uh, more competition to an already very deep conference. Do you like that format when there is a championship game at the end of a, at the end of the conference season? Sure, if we're in it, <laughs> I like it a lot. <laughs> Um, can you talk about the significance of starting a Pac-10 play and the fact that you could be the first coach, I guess, at FC to start 4-0? Yeah, well, we're excited about getting to the conference play um, at 3-0. Um, I don't take much in that coaching deal because I don't think many people had the schedule we had, um, previous coaches. So, um, you know, we're excited to, to finally start conference play at 3-0 and go up there to a tough place to play. What is the, the situation with Marky Campbells? What are you trying to get done with him as far as maybe getting a redshirt back or something? Yeah, we can't. And, um, you know, so we're throwing him in the mix and look to play him this week if he has a great week of practice and um, he competes extremely hard, and um, he'll be out there. Do you regret having played him since it seems like you maybe wanted to redshirt him? I don't know. You know, we'll see. We'll see how he progresses and how he comes throughout the season. You know, you never know how, they, how they're going to do as freshmen. And so um, hopefully um, he works extremely hard and gets a shot in there and makes most of it. Do you? Do you, do you foresee making a, a change in the tailback situation, or how's that going to go this week? We're going to go through the week, give them some shots. Um, we, we alternated um, all, through, all three of those guys um, with, with uh, Mark and Alan, really with the ones and twos, and then Dylan really was his normal mixture of stuff. Mm -hmm. And so um, we'll see how they go throughout the week. You had said, though, that you, know, you really don't like the tailback by committee approach. Is that – is it – Am I misunderstanding then something here, or was that that's kind of what you did in this last game? Well, I did that because Mark put the ball on the ground, and so it wouldn't have been that way. And so you never know when you're going to get your chance, and Mark got, or Alan got it because of Mark putting the ball on the ground, and he made the most of it, and so now he's made it a very close competition. So we've got to see, and, uh, you know, we'll figure it out throughout the week. Was it Mark's fumble, not ruled a fumble? No, it was, it was ruled a fumble. Uh, I watched a TV copy actually last night, actually after the fact. Um, and he didn't, you know, he was down, but they never reviewed it. They, they actually put the ball, you, you remember, they put the ball back from where he fumbled where we recovered it. Can uh, McAllister redshirt? Yes, yeah, he can medical redshirt. Um, C.J. Gable and Chris Calippo, a couple guys who were starters here before, let's talk about the contributions that they're making on special teams and just the way this, that they're, you know, helping the team out. Yeah, I think those are steps to becoming a really good team. Um, when you have guys, especially older guys, um, that aren't playing as much as they liked or as much as they have in the past, and they go out on special teams and play like that. CJ had a huge block on the kickoff return and a huge tackle on kickoff coverage. Uh, Chris Clipwell had, had a huge play on kickoff coverage himself to start the game, so it's great to see those guys, older guys like that, uh, you know, understand how important it is, no matter what play it is, obviously our special teams have the same effort. Matt threw some interceptions last week in practice. He threw a couple in the game. He threw a couple more today. Are, do you have a reason why all of a sudden he's throwing a lot of interceptions? Well, yeah, we're, we're you know we're getting casual with the ball, and so it was frustrating today. Um, you know, especially to this. Sometimes they're going to happen. You know, and the ball's going to get tipped, or the guy's going to miss protection. Um, but, but when you force a ball, or like the one today out here towards the end, you know. Um, there's no excuse for that. So that's what, what our, from day one, our goal has been to improve on. You know, with the with the 15 to 14 ratio we had last year, we improved on that, but we've got to keep improving. You know, um, so so Saturday doesn't happen again.
One more thing. Got a lot of players here waiting. Yes. One more thing on McAllister. Was it evident to you that he wasn't right? I mean, he got beat for a couple touchdowns when he did get out there on the field. Well, he's he's come back and kind of been at 80, 90 percent at times, and then then reaggravated it, and so um, you know he just can't go anymore, and so it's the right decision to make, and you know, and, and gives us another year. He'll get a red shirt, and that'll help us. You know, as you've seen, we've looked to red shirt anybody we can basically.